Hey guys, it's Tyler, and I'm back for week, I believe this is week 7. It is my uh, rematch versus TK, owner of the Silver City Sandslash, and uh, I'm looking for revenge. Uh, I definitely want to win this time, so I'm bringing more unconventional sets, which can hopefully throw them off guard. Uh, mainly, there are a few unconventional sets, and this is a very antithesis of how I would normally build Pokemon and play. I like very offensive Pokemon, but in this draft format, it uh, Kamisa brought up this point where it disadvantages like offensive Pokemon, and specifically because a lot of the offensive Pokemon I have are very prone to dying versus his team, uh, I'm opting to bring more defensive Pokemon, such as Cradley and Lantern. But uh, just to start off this time, uh, there's no reason not to bring Magearna. It's a really good wall for Tapu Lele and Greninja. Both of them get walled out by it pretty hard. With an air balloon, it can do some work versus Mamoswine, because it'll have to take, if I get a clean swap, it'll have to uh, use Ice Shard or something to break the air balloon, and Flash Cannon will one-shot. And if I Trick Room, then I can set up for it. So this team is definitely based around this Magirno getting up Trick Room, or at least some of the Mons are, uh, because I'm obviously using Quiet, which is a speed-lowering uh, special attack raising. So this is just going to be able to nuke things, and uh, with this set of uh, moves, Flash Cannon, HP Ground, and T-Bolt, I can hit super effective most of the Pokemon on his team. Tapu Lele uh, gets hit by Flash Cannon, so does Mamoswine. Uh, who else does on his team? Regirock. Uh, that's really for Flash Cannon, but it's also just a great stab move. Uh, Hidden Power Ground, that's mainly for the Arcanine and Raikou. Um, no other reason for that. The T-Bolt is for the Greninja, Skarmory, and if I need to get a pair out, or if I just want something safe for a Paralysis Chance, so if he throws his Heracross in, uh, if I think he's going to throw his Heracross in, I can just T-Bolt, and hopefully, with my luck, get the uh, <laughs> get the Paralysis off. But, yeah, that's it's a pretty fairly simple Magirna set, but I feel like it'll do pretty well versus TK. Uh, I feel like he's going to be bringing a Calm Mindset on Tapu Lele, if he brings it at all. So he might try to set up to wall it out, but I think I can break through it. Uh, up next is Tentacruel. This is a... <laughs> I'm running mainly to surprise TK, and I can set up on a few Pokemon of his. I'm running a physical Swords Dancing Tentacruel. So with the Swords Dance, Waterfall and Poison Jab as a combo can just, uh, it can one-shot Lele, Mamoswine, Arcanine, it can do about 90% of Raikou's health, so after Rocks it can one-shot, Heracross, dead, Flygon does not Oko, Blastoise doesn't Oko, Oko's Celebi, um, does not Oko Gastro, but I have other, I have other uh, answers for Gastro. And with the Speed EVs, uh, it's going to be outspeeding most things on his team. It outspeeds Lele, Mamo, Arcanine. Does not outspeed the Raikou, but in case he gets the Thunderbolts off, uh, if he brings it, I'm bringing a Salic Berry to raise my speed. So I can get that two hit Oko, unless he's running Scarf, in which case that's a very valuable piece of information. In which case I can just swap out to uh, Crocodile and then get a free hit off on something with a knockoff or something. Um. It just does pretty good work versus team, which is kind of surprising, because you never really see physical tentacruel. Only in like a draft format would you see it. Uh, the clear body over Liquidus is mainly for the in case he brings Cricketune to lower my speed, which if he does bring it, it may end up working in my favor because of my Trick Room set, which he probably won't because he knows I have both Magirna and Espeon, which can both set up Trick Room, and my team is very. Uh, it's pretty good for just the Pokemon I drafted. is pretty good for a uh, pretty good for a Trick Room team, such as like the Heatran. If I want to run it like a more bulky set with Trick Room, uh, the Honchkrow, the Lantern Cradley, Drompa, Throw, Viper, all of my lower tier picks can be used for it. So I, I just grabbed two of the ones I feel like would work the best against his team and grabbed them. Because uh, I didn't feel like I could use Drompa against his teams, mainly because there's no uh, Dragon Pokemon other than Flygon, and I have multiple other options for Flygon. 
Um, and Thrones the Viper just fighting and poison just don't work terribly well up against the team. Fighting would work well against Greninja and Mamo Swine, but it would get walled out by the physical defense of uh, Skarmory. The Arcanine would kill them too fast, and so would the Raikou. Uh, and Heracross resists because of Bug. Celebi would kind of shut on it because of Psychic, so it just it would just be a bad time to bring it, because I don't need another Poison type because of the Tentacruel, and I'm already bringing two Water types, so I don't want to have too many overlapping types, because I already have the two Water types and the two Grass types, so I don't want to overlap much more. Here, speaking of two Poison types, uh, Roserade, my second Poison type, uh, running Toxic Pipe, because I don't feel like Life Orb, but I don't want the chip damage on Roserade, because I don't feel like it'll be doing too much. Oh, those are the wrong EVs. That should not be there. That should be here. So this is going to be one of the mons that I would be throwing out uh, during the Trick Room. Uh, I may change it to the other way around. I may change it with Timid 252, unless I don't want to run it, uh, in case I want to run it faster, so that it's one of the mons I throw out while Trick Room is down. But uh, yeah, uh, it's this can one-shot a lot of the Pokemon on this team. Uh, Hidden Power Fire is mainly for the Skarmory, uh, because if I get Rocks up and Hidden Power Fire, it dies without Sturdy, kills Heracross, kills Celebi, um, kills Krikatoon, but so does Sludge Bomb, and Sludge Bomb has a chance of poisoning, so it can get past a. Uh, it'll kill if if I do get the the chance. It'll uh, if it poisons, it dies, which is quite nice. Leaf Storm just obliterates his team. One shots Greninja, does like 90% of Lele's health. One shots Mamoswine, will do good damage to both Arcanine and Raikou. Uh, will deal about 80% of Flygon's health. One shots Blastoise. Um, it doesn't really do much to Celebi. Kills the Gastrodon even through, or it'll do like 98% through a Rindo buried Gastrodon, which it's Gastrodon. Super specially defensive, plus a Rindo Berry, it would be able to live most grass moves. Uh, it's good against Regirock, since Regirock has such a high defense, but the special defense isn't anywhere near as high. Uh, then there's Magius, uh, not, not good against terribly. And the Licky Licky, I can try to poison. Uh, but specifically, uh, using that as a segue to move on to Sludge Bomb. Uh, Sludge Bomb is mainly for the Arcanine and the Raikou. Uh, Arcan and Raikou don't really get hit by the HP Fire, Leaf Storm, or Dazzling Gleam terribly well. Or they get hit by it very well. Um, so I wanted to bring just a stab move that is neutral to those. Sludge Bomb will deal about 50-60% to 60 of both Raikou's and Arcanine's. Uh, Raikou and Arcanine's HP, which is quite nice, because if I have the... If I have the Trick Room set, uh, on Magirin and I use it. If I know that the Arcanine is offensive, then I know I'll go first since it'll have more speed, but if it's, I'll have to do some scouting because if Arcanine is defensive, it will go first and it'll still have a move that can kill Roserade. So I'm gonna have to be careful with that. Uh, Dazzling Gleam in, was specifically for the Greninja in case I don't want to have a uh, special defense drop, or no, sorry, not special defense, special attack drop from Leaf Storm. Um, it's also good for the Heracross, uh, Flygon, uh, it just works better than the other, uh, mo than the other coverage moves that Rosary gets, like, uh, Extrasensory, um, and Shadow Ball, so I figured I'd just rather run that. And then on to Crocodile. This Crocodile is able to, uh, one shot after rocks, it can one shot the Mamoswine and live it because of the Yache Berry plus Intimidate. Uh, an Icicle Crash from a Life Orbed, uh, a Life Orbed Jolly Mamoswine will do about 51%, which is actually really nice. Um, so I could either, if I get the Stealth Rocks up early, I can just super power it and it dies, which is quite nice, swap out. And it's even better if I have the, um, even better if I have the Trick Room up. Because I'll go first, obviously. Um, also, just great knockoffer, and then a strong Earthquaker. Something else I need on this team, since I don't have... Um, I'm not bringing any other mons I can learn Earthquake. Um, yeah, this is a pretty standard set. Uh, EV-wise, no speed, just for the Trick Room setup. Plus, I really like a bulky set. 
and uh, obviously admin just to deal as much damage as possible via <laughs> via tank crocodile uh, up next cradley um, I'm naming it I hate myself because I hate defensive sets and uh, that is exactly what this cradley is for and I'm also bringing it against TK because I know he likes it so well and it walls out Gastrodon pretty well because all Gastrodon can really hit it with is an Ice Beam or an Earth Power and that won't really do much. Uh, if it tries to Toxic me, I have the Lumberry, which is specifically for a Toxic onto it. Because if I get a Curse up and then like Seed Bomb, it dies after a Rindo Berry. It'll take two shots. Or it'll take two shots, one for the Rindo Berry and then one to finish it off. Uh, the Ancient Power... Uh, which may seem weird running a curse set where it increases my attack. The Ancient Power is uh, very specifically for the Skarmory. I think he's going to be running Skarmory uh, normally defensive, or physically defensive. So if I use Ancient Power, it bypasses the physical defense of the Skarmory, does neutral stab damage, and then I also get the 10% chance to raise all stats, which is really nice because if I get that, it walls out the rest of his team. Especially if I have a curse up plus uh, with recover on the Lumberry, there's not much he can really do. Uh, so if I get that off, that's I don't want to say it's game, but it'll take out it'll do some serious work to his team. And last but not least, uh, Lantern, who uh, I uh, a nickname from a friend or from Mitch, owner of the Newington Number Rumblers, Bulky, <laughs> because. Uh, it is just bulky. That's what it's for. Uh, leftovers, Volt Absorb. The Volt Absorb is for the Raikou. I don't. Re I'm not really worrying about a, a water move on Greninja, or Blastoise. So it did makes a lot more sense to use the Volt Absorb in case I know he's gonna go for the uh, the T Bolt on a very low uh, Tentacruel. Then just swap out into Lantern. And if he's Scarfed or Specked, then he's stuck into it and then he's going to have to switch, then I can discharge whatever he's going to go into. Uh, I really like discharge over Thunderbolt on Lantern, specifically because of the 30% chance to paralyze, uh, which is super nice. And uh, if I get that off, that'll be a really big advantage. The only thing I'm really... I'm not really scared of any Pokemon on his team, with specifically Lantern. Uh, Flygon can kind of set up on it, since Scald is only normally effective, uh, but it can take a hit. Pretty well. Uh, not really scared of Celebi because if he if he throws Celebi into Lantern, Lantern main, I'm just gonna swap out into something else or try to discharge it and get a paralyze off. Uh, Gas the Hidden Power Grass is specifically for the Gastrodon. Uh, it breaks the Rindo Berry and it three shots, which is quite nice and it can't really do much. Uh, Heal Bell just as like a healer in case uh, he really wants to bring like a Toxic set on one of his mods, like a Toxic uh, Celebi. Toxic, uh, Skarmoray, Toxic, Gastro, it's just a great move to have, and Scald for the burn chance, obviously, plus Water Stab. Um, just, again, just running a bulky set, HP, max, spe or max special attack just for damage. Um, it'll live a few hits, it can get some good statuses off, and hopefully it can pick up a kill, because that'd be really nice. Since Lantern, I was not ex really expecting to use this draft, but it's one of my favorite Pokemon, which is why I picked it up but I'm hopefully going to see this one do at least get one kill. But uh, yeah, that's really all there is for this team builder. I'm really looking forward to this match, hoping that I can uh, clutch this out and uh, beat TK so that I can get back up into the um, competition for the number one spot. Uh, because this is going to be my second time facing TK, and I've already faced Kamisa twice. So this is going to be my last big three battle of the Sun Conference. And uh, Kamisa and TK still have to battle one more time. So depending on that, if TK wins the second time, or if I win tonight and then TK beats Kamisa in the revenge match, then uh, we'll all have a tied score by the end of it. If it, That's that's an if I beat uh, the rest of uh, the players, which hopefully I can. Uh, the rest of my schedule, I mean. And then that would be a very interesting way to finish it, going by straight up uh, kill differentials and head to head, which would be a very tense ending for the uh, Sun Conference, which I think would be super interesting. So hopefully that happens. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a good match. Um, I will catch you guys there. Yeah, so, peace.
Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, just got into the room with uh, TK, and uh, just waiting for spectators right now. This is actually kind of surprising. This is the first time I believe that TK has brought all three of his OU picks. Those picks being Lele, uh, Mammal Swine, Greninja. He probably did that for a surprise. Uh, Having the three of them at the same time is a surprise. Um, the rest of his team was pretty expected. Arcanine, Skarmoray, uh, Gastrodon. But that's pretty, um, pretty expected. Let's see. Just gonna wait a few more minutes. I think against this team, it would have been worse if he had, worse for me if he had brought, uh, Raikou. Specifically because of the, uh, or a sphere, specs or scarf is both really, really fast and hits pretty hard. Glad that didn't come. I'm still worried about the Arcanine because I don't know if that's defensive or offensive. Glad he didn't bring the Heracross because Heracross can kind of fuck up a lot of my mons. Um, uh, other than that, I, th I'm, gra I'm glad he didn't bring the Celebi. Celebi kind of scares me, especially since I didn't bring a bug move. I wasn't really prepared for it. The Reggie Rock, I'm glad because I dislike the Reggies. Um, Cricketune, I'm pretty glad he did. actually. If he brought the Cricketune with webs, it would have been fine. But let's see against his team, the best choice would probably be to first throw out. Probably be best to throw out uh, Crocodile. So I'm probably going to do that first, just checking if he's ready. Once he's ready, we can throw stuff out. Hmm. I'm super nervous for this fight. So, I'm going to throw out Crocodile first. Hopefully he throws out the Mammal Swine. Or, uh, probably the best thing for him to throw out would be the uh, Arcanine, because then I get rocks up and then just swamp out. Hmm. <laughs> This is a very, uh, this is weird for me to bring two, like, tank mons. Because I generally will either bring one or sometimes none at all, but against TK I feel like I have to bring both. Both because they have just great coverage in terms of what they can block. Um, the Lantern, it probably would have been better if I had brought in, well, knowing this team, it would have been better if I had brought in the, um, if I had, ah, uh, what was it? if I had brought uh, the other ability instead, Water Absorb. Okay, so that's not all t That's not all too unexpected, but still don't particularly like it. Hmm. He's probably got Defog on there, so there's no real reason for me to, uh... There's no real reason for me to rocks right now. I could break the Sturdy with Knock Off, and he will get rocks up. Um, so... If I break the Sturdy, and then... Break the sturdy, and then I'll probably swap into Roserade, or maybe even Magirna, because I can't really do much in Magirna, even if it brings like Drill Peck. So let's just knock off. That did pretty good damage. Lefties, Drill Peck. Yeah, he was expecting me to go into Roserade, so that was pretty good. So I'm just gonna bring out. Um, hmm. With the Drill Peck, he won't be expecting me to do much. So. Is the play to go Stealth Rocks, or is the play to go into Magirna? I don't exactly want to go into Magirna right now, just because of the air balloon. But I do know he has Defog on that, so I can throw Rocks up and then I can swap out into Magirna. So, I'm just going to do that. I think that's the play. But, Birdsley, Skarmray is always a pain in the ass. So I actually did, uh, I'm, I'm glad I got into the habit roost. Okay, that's pretty expected. So he's going to defog, I'm going to go into Magirna. And then once I get Magirna out, I'm going to trick room. Actually, it depends what he sets up into. Yeah, okay. So he kept it out, he's going to defog. No, drill pack. That's actually really surprising. So right now, I believe I'm actually a little bit slower than him. But I don't know what he's going to go into, so I'm just going to Trick Room. Gastro. That makes sense. I don't really have anything I can hit it with, so Trick Room's up. 
go into Cradle Elite because I can wall out Gastro pretty pretty well with this. EQ doesn't really do much because then I can get a Curse Up, Seed Bomb. If you pop, it'll pop the uh, what I believe is a Rindo Berry. Um, goes back into Skarmory, so that's physically defensive. So he's probably expecting me to use the uh, he's probably expecting me to use uh, Rock Slide or st or uh, Stone Edge, but the engine power with the special attack is quite nice. Do I get the boost? No, I don't. Defog, oh, that's expected. I'm gonna go for this boost. Nope, Whirlwind out. That's still pretty good free damage. So, right now, I should be faster. Let me calc that right now. I have 220 speed. Skarmory. If he doesn't have any speed investment, well, yeah, I'm definitely faster. So, what would the play be? Knock off is stab lower. Um, he's definitely slower than me, so he's definitely gonna roost because I won't be able to kill him, I don't think. But let me check anyway. Crocodile, Stealth Rock, Adamant. With superpower. How much will Superpower do? Superpower will do like 30%, so that's definitely not the play. Hmm. I'm going to go into Lantern. Roost, yeah. That was pretty expected. So he might end up going into either Mamoswine or Cradley here, but I feel like he's going to try to get the 100% on Birdsley so, uh, to get the Sturdy back up, so I'm going to Discharge. Hmm. Yeah, Gastro, that's pretty good. Earthquake? Uh, Earthquake's actually a much better uh, option here than Earth Power for him, just because uh, I have a lot, I have less defense and special defense. This will do, I believe, about 40%, but I just need to pop that Rindo Berry. Yeah, that's good. So that's very specially defensive. Oh, that did a lot more than I was expecting. But that's fine. Um, however, since I know that Cindy, oh, that's physical, I can actually go into Crocodile. Because I get the Intimidate off, and it won't do a lot to me, since I'm not, uh, I'm not weak to it. So, what is he gonna do? I'm going to Crooked Isle. He might end up going into Lele, which would actually be kind of a really smart switch, but I don't think he's gonna do that. He might just try to go for the uh, Earthquake again, which I'm kind of hoping he does. I didn't bring uh, Latios this time, and I don't have any uh, ground immunity on my team, but I do have a few ground weaknesses, but uh, that Drill Peck earlier uh, for the expected swap into Roserade uh, kind of fucked me over. Even though he made the he made the wrong choice, but it ended up working out pretty well for him to get the air balloon off Magirna. So okay, so does he stay in? No, he swaps out into Arcanine. Ooh, that's that's difficult. Hmm. Arcanine, fuck, that's not good. I'm intimidated. I don't know why he's saying fuck yes. That's bad for me. He got the intimidate off, and. Let's see. Let's see. Um, hmm, that's hard because I have a feeling this is actually. I have a feeling this is defensive, so he may have Will O Wisp, and I don't want to get this Will O Wisp. And if it is, I can actually just land. Uh, I can get it off with that with a lantern. So I'm gonna. He, he if he's smart, he's gonna use uh, bulldoze. But let's see what he does. I mean, hopefully, close combat. That that was a good pickup. But however, that negate, yeah, that negates the. Um, that was really nice for me because it negates my attack drop. I don't know if that was worth. That was worth. <laughs> After seeing that, that was definitely worth. So, ma'am, I don't really have anything to good in to go into here. Um, Lantern, I'll get fucked up. Uh, Magirna, I'll get fucked up. Um, I may just have to sack this. It doesn't really do much for me now. The only thing it would really do would be to Intimidate, which could be good for later, but I don't really want to sack anything for it. Um, so let's see, what would the play be? Hmm. I may just have to sack this. 
Yeah, I'm probably just gonna sack it. There's no reason for me to waste another Mon over it. Because the Lantern is still good for the Greninja, the Skarmory, and the... Uh, not really Lele. But, so yeah, I'm just gonna sack this. There's no reason for me not to. I'll just knock off. Yeah, Ice Shard. Yachi Berry. Still kills. Pretty expected. Um, I'm actually curious how much this will do. Really? Yeah, especially defensive. Hmm. It is... Yeah, that's fine. Um, Cradle Leak? Uh, that actually does a lot. That does a lot more than I'm expecting. Icicle Crash will do uh, nearly 100% of Cradle Leak's health. It'll be faster. Meanwhile, I won't be able to do much against him. Um, this puts me in an awkward situation. Because I can live with this and then get the Trick Room up. Or, what I can do is I can... If I live with this and get the Trick Room up, how much will that do to me? Magirna with Offensive Trick Room. Earthquake will one-shot me, sadly enough. So I, I fucked up hard on this. My prep was not good. I could go into this, Swords Dance, I'll be faster, and then, yeah, this this will be a play. Swords Dance, and then Waterfall. Because I'll get the Shuka Berry, and then I, if he decides to stay in for whatever reason, then I can hit it with that. He's probably wondering why I'm going into this, so he might consider doing something else. I'm in a very tough situation right now. Unless I can deal with that Mammo Swine, I may be able to chip it down quite a lot. Uh, let me check how much a unboosted waterfall will do. Since I am jolly. Two fifty-two in attack, and then waterfall. Waterfall will do about 70%, but if I Swords Dance, it'll die. Okay. It seems like that was the play. Yeah, they were not expecting that. <laughs> Physical Tentacruel. Yeah. Birdsley still hurts a lot, though, but he knows what it is now. That's not good. Birdsley's still there, which hurts a lot. He may be expecting the Scald for Mamoswine, so I'm going to HP Grass, because I feel like he's going to swap out into Cradley to get the um, to get the thing off, to get Storm Drain off. Um, but let's see. I actually need to check if, in that case, if Cindy or Lantern went first. Hmm. Where is it? Discharge? Does it fix any? Okay, so, uh, Lantern did go first. Hmm. We're both down to very little time. <laughs> this is a very th uh, thinking match for sure. I'm in a very bad spot though, because Mammo Swine lives. If there is something that costs me game, it's going to be the um, it's going to be that drill pack on the Magirna, because otherwise I'd be able to set up Trick Room and then one shot the uh, Mammo Swine. But this time I'd have to set up, yeah, Gastrodon called that pretty well. Uh, I I was very close to second guessing myself there, which would have been really bad, because I would have swapped into Magirna. He would have earthquaked. I would have done. I would have taken a lot. I would have. At that point, I would have had to swap back out. So he may just end up sacking Gastrod on here, because the only thing else, the only other thing he would go out into was Skarmory. And while that would probably be the best idea, he may just want to get a clean swap into Mammo. Yeah, he wants to get the clean swap into Mammo. That's not at all unexpected. Hmm. 
I was really hoping he would not bring Mammoth Swine to this match, but uh, I was kind of just kidding myself thinking that he would not. But oh well, I've gotten two kills so far. The crit did not matter. <laughs> He wanted to clean swap the ammo. I could call that. Um. Fuck. I may have to sack this. Hmm. Let's see. Is he gonna try to double swap me? Probably not, because Mammo Swine is his best Pokemon right now. It can one shot everything, except for uh, Tentacruel, just because of the uh, Shuka Berry. But I am faster than it, thankfully, so I can probably get a two-hit Oko on that. Um, hmm. The play would be to... S I'm gonna have to Scald. Yeah, Earthquake. Doesn't surprise me. Now, he might Earthquake here expecting me to Sword Stance again, so I'm just gonna Waterfall. Because it will, uh... Hopefully I can get some chip damage on him, if he decides to Earthquake me. And if I get the chip dance on him, it'll, he'll die the next turn, which is quite nice. Um, hmm. This is very hard. If I can get this Mammal Swine out of the way, then I, yeah. Ah, man. That Skarmoray is really fucking me up. He's just gonna Whirlwind again, or Roost. If he's gonna Roost, I'm gonna go into... Hmm. The best option would probably be Roserade right now. That would be the play. Could also go into Cradley because I can Ancient Power and that'd do quite a bit to uh, Ancient that do quite a bit to Skarmory, do 20%. And if I get that up, that'll help a lot. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to play a speed round here. Cradley, yeah, he's gonna roll. No, Roost. Okay. Let's go for the bullshit Ancient Power. <laughs> we might Drill Pack here, which would make a lot of sense. Yeah, Drill Pack can only just 20. Ancient power, if I get the boot Yes! Bullshit boost. <laughs> so, right now, uh, the best option would be to recover myself to full. Because he might try to go for... Yeah, whirlwind. Fuck. <laughs> I hate whirlwind so much. But I, at least it's full. At least it's full. Um, regardless of what this goes out into, uh, in power will do quite a bit of damage. Uh, he'll, he, he'll probably go out into Greninja. Let me check how much this will do. Uh, Rose Raid. Um, oh fuck, I don't have that much time. Uh, let me just... HP Fire. I hope he stays in. Because if he thinks I'm going to HP Fire... If, I may just be out mind gaming myself, but I hope... Yes, he did not. He out mind gamed himself. Yes. That is so good for me. <laughs> He out mind games himself. Tapu Lele. Now, Tapu Lele will fuck my shit up. But thankfully, Magirna can tank that pretty hard. And then I can get up Trick Room. So, he may go for the double swap, which would be really nice. It'd be really smart. Um, he may just go for Z Psychic, which I think will do about 40%? 40 to 50% of Magirna, which is still a lot. Um, oh, this is super tense. I am on the edge of my seat right now. But let's see, what is he gonna do? The best move would be for him to double swap, or the best move for me would be for him to double swap into Greninja. Because then at that point he can't do anything unless he's Z fighting moves me, and then I'll lose like 80%, but even then, I'd be good. Let's see. But his, the best move for him would be to swap out into Mamoswine. Yeah, so he's. Psyshock, 25%. That's good with me. Flash Cannon. Uh, the question is, do I Flash Cannon here, or do I Magear now? Because Flash Cannon will do... It will one-shot everyone but Greninja. And if Greninja comes out, that's fine. Yeah. Greninja comes out, he, Greninja can't do anything to me. I can set up Trick Room. Because if Trick Room gets up then he's in a tricky spot. Because uh, the only thing that I think that he can hit me with that will kill me is an H, even if he's like physical or any other weird set. Surf. Oh, the crit. That crit, man. 
So either way, I think this might be game. Because then if he swaps into Mamoswine, I can uh, one-shot it with Flash Cannon. Yeah, so I think I just won with Magearna. Oh no, Mamoswine's uh, Ice Shard will do a good amount to me, but then Trick Room will still be up. Let's see. This is super intense. My heart is beating out of my chest right now. I was, I am so, I was so frightened of TK. And let's see, Monarch. That was not the play. Flash Cannon will one shot. Um, did he? Br he brought Ice Shard for sure, but he may kill me with Ice Shard. If he does, then oh, he's doing this to wait out the turns. But I believe that's game because then I'll have one Trick Room turn left and then I can Leaf Storm him with Rosarade. This was so fucking intense. Uh, yes, I lived! That's game. Holy fuck, I cannot believe I just 4 0 TK. Holy shit, that makes me so happy. I've spent all week preparing for this match. Preparing for this revenge match. Um... And thankfully, the, I brought the Cradle and Lantern, because uh, that threw him off guard for sure. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I think I played that pretty well. Um, commentating by myself probably definitely helps me uh, think things through more, because if I'm talking with someone else, then uh, it can definitely be a, not a bit distracting. Uh, uh, but that, I don't know what else to say. That was good to TK. Uh, if he played it around his Mammoth Swine a bit better, he would have just absolutely destroyed me. Um, but I'm glad I got off that Trick Room, Magirna. That's another, I believe, three kills to Magirna. Because um, it was... Uh, yeah, it was the Greninja, Mammoth Swine, and the uh, Tapu Wele. Who'd the other kills go to? So that puts Magirna at a... Kill differential of, I believe, 16, keeping it in first place. Um, Rosarade got two kills. Or, no, Rosarade got one kill with um, the HP fire on Skarmory. Uh, I believe Lantern got the kill. Yeah, Lantern got the kill on Cradley, or on um, Gastrodon, and then Kukadala got the kill on, um, on Arcanine. So I believe that solidifies both uh, Magirna as number one, and then. Crocodile staying in top 10, which is nice, and Rose Raid's up there as well, which makes me really happy. But uh, yeah, that was really well played by TK. Oh, that was super intense, but uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.